Simply Classic. Simply Essential. Simply Perfect for every style. Sometimes the greatest pleasures are the simplest ones of all. Watch Concierge Collection tonight only on HSN. you're watching HSN. I'm Suzanne Runyon, but really who cares when Wolfgang Puck is in the house? And we're so excited because we have by far one of the biggest values and grandest cookware collections that Wolfgang has ever put together. And of course, you have a chef who has hundreds if not thousands of restaurants around the world. What do they use? Stainless steel. What should you use at home? That would be stainless steel. I'm gonna go through this set, because it's big, and I'm gonna have Wolfgang, he's gonna show you how it works and why he picked these pieces. Because you get everything you need. This is a brilliant set. It's the starter set. It's give a couple away, keep a couple of new bodies for yourself. It is a 17 piece collection. We we start here, and I want to show you this. This is the stockpot. And when you see stockpots normally, I gotta be honest with you, they're kind of ugly. Really, they're kind of like bulky and ugly. Look at how gorgeous that six quart stockpot is. It's just a beautiful silhouette, pretty enough to actually serve out of it. And normally stockpots, you're not serving. All right, beside this, I think this one is brilliant. This is the 11 inch universal pan with the lid. It's got the two helper handles. Again, gorgeous, serve cold, serve hot, bake in this, serve in this, cook in this. Obviously, it does it all. This next one I think is just really unique and I've never seen it in any sets he's done before. It's called the 12 inch open oval skillet. So you can imagine anything long, if you're doing a beautiful piece of fish, it's gonna be gorgeous. You could do a casserole in there, a dip in there would be beautiful. Down below that, this is the large 12 inch simmer pan that comes of course with the lid. Beside that, we've got some more courses, the 2.5 quart saucier with the lid. It also has a colander, where's my colander? I will find the little colander guy. Uh, over here, you have the 10 inch open pan. Again, that is a complete workhorse. Down here below, look at this. This is your three and a half quart. Isn't that beautiful? Just such a gorgeous silhouette. It doesn't look like your typical saucepan. And then of course you have all the tools down below. These are all stainless steel from the slotted spoon to the solid spoon to the turner to the flex turner and then of course to the tongs all of this the lowest price we've done it is a spring price free shipping and of course five flex pay all right chef you getting yes, ready you getting busy i'm heating up the pan so i'm gonna teach you something new today we're gonna make a mushroom soup Ooh, nice. one of the most popular soups in uh in uh, our restaurant Spago. You know, I made it for years and years and every fall, every winter, in the summer, people always ask for it. So we're gonna have in here a little garlic. You can see that. Then I'm gonna add some onions. This is the exact recipe. The exact recipe, okay. yeah. <laughs> Marianne will write it down. Okay, how many ounces of onions? Eight. You, okay, eight, Marianne said it's eight. I'm, at, I'm guessing. All right, Correct. okay, you're guessing. What do you mean, Marion? you're guessing? You're, don't you give us precise things anymore? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> he's gonna embarrass me. Now, it takes a little time to heat, them, heat my pan up. Why? Because they are such heavy pans. You know, you can see the thickness of the bottom. Look at that. So it's tri-ply, so by the time that heats up, but once it's hot, you can drive that like crazy. It's true. You can see here, I'm sauteing the onions. We don't want to make them brown. So now we're gonna add a little bit of thyme. All right. Now, Chef, specifically talk about that stock pot. It is not your basic ugly stock pot. I know, I love it. And you know, because it has the round ending down here. So if you have a spoon like that, you can see that? It goes right around, so it makes total sense not to have it uh, square so. because you mm -hmm. cannot get in with the spoon. So then you leave the corner with garlic, with onions, and they will burn. So okay. this is like perfect. It's brilliant. And I love the helper handles that you yeah. include as well. And you know what I like about your soft cookware is, uh, too? Is and if you have this cookware, please come through and say hi and let us know what you love about it. It looks so gorgeous, you can serve directly out of it. You know, it's not that ugly cookware you're kind of embarrassed of, or it's got the Didn't peeling non-stick on it. If I put that on, on high, it. because I don't have my, yeah, it looks like it's on high. Yeah, okay. It's on high. 
They're changing my cooktop every minute on me, so I don't know why. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise, Steve. Yeah, so I think, why one? give Wolfgang what he wants all the time? I mean, he would, he <laughs> would be too happy. Now here, one of our dishes from Chinois. Now, I could use it in this pan, but this one is big enough. So, steer-fried lamb. We use steer-fried lamb in lettuce camp. Oh. While the mushrooms are cooking, or the, our onions are cooking, then I add mushrooms. So look at that. That's gorgeous. So I line that up like that. Two recipes in one, and then we're gonna add a little garlic. Ginger. All right. A little chili, and then I need a little vinegar. Okay. Okay, now we cook that a little bit, a little vinegar, and a little sweet wine. Hey, Chef, we're going to say hi to Carla joining us from California again. Hello. Hi, Carla. Hi, Carla. How are you? Hello, Chef. It is such a privilege to speak with you. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. How are well, you? I am good. Um, I ordered your knife tonight, and I also ordered the pressure oven. Um, I've been looking at that for how long and debating, and finally tonight I bought it because I have this stainless steel cookware set, and I love it. Oh, thank you so much. I think so. Once you get used to cook with that, you just think there's nothing better. You know, to me, in our restaurants everywhere, that's how we cook. Well, I'll tell you, I don't have any doubt, and I just am to get to speak with you. you uh, are thank you, thank you. You know, I'm so glad when you call, you know, that's my favorite thing. In the restaurants, I go inside our restaurants, inside the dining room, and that way I can talk to the customers. That's what I love about my business, to be directly involved with the customer. Absolutely. Yeah. I love to cook, I love to feed people, and your products help me to do it better. You know, if I would sell my stuff at William Sonoma, I couldn't talk to anybody. That's true. You That's know, right. This well, is so much better. North, we're just a little north of there. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Carla, can I ask you a quick question before I let you go? We have sure. obviously a huge cookware set, and the price is uh, unbelievable tonight. Would you mm -hmm. recommend somebody try the cookware since you've already had a lot of experience with it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Why? And um, why? It is, it is wonderful. I yeah. just couldn't say enough about it. I love it. It's durable, too, isn't it? Oh, golly, yes. That's the big yes, problem. Yes, yes. That's the big I'm gonna, problem. I plan on, <laughs> I'm going to put it in my will to pass down to my yeah. grandchildren. Oh, well, there yeah, you I go. Know. It's a good idea. Well, Carla, <laughs> thank you so much go. for joining us. Oh, thank you for allowing me to speak to you. You guys have a great evening. Thank, thank you. you so Thanks, much. Carla. Now, look at that. I'm making my steer fried lamb here for the lettuce caps. So you can see, look in my pan here. Can you see? Look, it looks like I didn't even cook in here. And I don't have to baby it. I don't have to boil it and I'm gonna scratch it. Okay. That the, the uh, coating gonna come off. This will stay like that for the rest of your life. All right, and you know what? I think a lot of people wonder why have a great cookware set. Yeah. It's because you're tired of having lousy results in the kitchen. Yeah. And Chef, talk about that. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I'm just going to use these old dumb pans. You know I what a lot of people supermarket. think? They need the most expensive stove to do a good job. It's not the stove you need. What you need is really a great set of cookware. Then you're, okay, okay, a little soy sauce in here. And then we're gonna have a little hoisin. Is that hoisin? Yeah. Okay. All right. And I think I could add maybe a little touch of honey or whatever it is, a little a sesame oil. All right, some scallions. All right. And now. So, Chef, you were saying too, it's not the expensive oven that yeah. matters. Exactly. It's not the stove which is important, it's the pots and pans. I remember cooking in some homes where they had the most amazing stove. Wow. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> oh my God. Would it be sad if you tried yeah. your own food and said, oh, that's awful? <laughs> I did that once. I made a margarita once yeah. on, for the Food Network a class. Yeah. And I didn't measure it. You know, certain things you just have to measure. You just threw it all I in? I just threw everything in and oh. made it a, a rug. I said, this is the worst margarita I ever, <laughs> I ever had. That's good Now, look it. at that. So that's how you can make it with chicken, with turkey, whatever oh, you man. have. That's gorgeous. Fill your lettuce leaf oh. and get a little spoon and taste it. A oh, little yeah, acidity. Twist my arm on that one. 
<laughs> Always on a search for a fork. Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> Hey, by the way, please come through and say hi to Chef. Yeah. This Just is call me. This is before the summer, my last visit here. That's right. That's right. And I'm look at the pan. I just made stir fry in here. Now I can put a little water in here. Huh? This is cleanup. Thank you. So this is how easy cleanup is. Look at that. I just stir fried my meat. That could be lamb, chicken, anything. And. Oh my gosh, that is great. Yeah, so <laughs> if you want, you roll it in the lettuce leaf, put a little mint in it or a little more scallions, and wow. look at the pan. Mm. Chef, that's dynamite. Okay, it's, so Chef, I gotta ask you a question. Yeah. You put in the oval pan, the one you can see over the long oval one. Yeah. That's the first time I've ever seen you include that oval shape. Yeah, in. no, the oval shape, Why I love that? it when I make trout, when I make a lot of things. You know, not everything is round, so if something is elongated, you use that. Now here, give me a little stock. Mm, that is delicious, Chef. Oh. Mm, so we, co we cook the mushroom really until they start sauteing. So that's how you get the most flavor. You see how hot it is in here? Is it hot? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, perfect. How is that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Let us <laughs> so because we don't have too much time, so can I add stock to it? This is the famous mushroom soup. Yeah, a famous mushroom and soup. And what kind of stock do you use? This was vegetable stock, but you can use chicken stock, any stock you like, and okay. then we're gonna add cream to it. That's over. Okay, good. Where is it here? Then we're gonna have a creamy mushroom soup. Now, it's interesting because you're making a pretty good size recipe, but yeah. there's still a big capacity. Oh my in God, it. I could make at least four 15 soups in here. Yeah, you really could. Absolutely. How so long do you So now we're gonna add a little, I don't know if you put salt. Yeah, a little more salt. Mm, and tastes good already. It's so funny. We didn't put much in here, but you will see. And in one minute, it comes to a boil just to taste the essence of mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And how long do you leave it on the stove? Oh, I'm gonna boil it for a little bit and then get the immersion blender, blend it, and then that's it. All right, that's and pretty It's easy. really simple and fast. And how much do you charge for that, Spagos? <laughs> why are you always interested you know why? in money? Because Jesus the whole Christ. point is you can do it yourself I and save know, a lot of I'm money. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> People don't gonna come to Spago anymore if oh, I tell no, you no, the no, price. no, 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 uh, no. Everybody goes to Spago. <laughs> you know what? Coming to Spago or our restaurant is an experience. Uh -huh, it's it's a different thing. It's not just about the food in a restaurant. You know, the food obviously has to be delicious but the way they treat you if they make you feel like you're the king and you are really special and you're not some famous person from Hollywood or from some other country that's when you feel good about yourself. But you know, you know, your teams across the around yeah. the world do that. Yep. When you go into any of Wolfgang's restaurants, you do feel like you're a king or a queen, like a celeb. Oh, yeah. You know, you do. You don't have to be somebody special going into his restaurants. They make everyone feel very special. Obviously, Spago's is the Spago's, the original, and yeah. just a phenomenal experience. And so, you know, we are open for 35 years, so we must wow. do something right, right. you yeah, know? Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so here's what we're doing. I'm going to run over here, Chef, and I'm going to show every single piece of this collection. Okay. What I would recommend, too, and a lot of you do this, and I love it, is maybe there is a, a silhouette in here that you don't have. You say, you know, I love that six quart it's not a big, ugly six-quart stock pot. Or maybe say, oh, I love the everything pan with the helper handles that you can serve cold. Um, a chef sometimes will put cold wine bottles inside here with ice, and that's how he serves for his uh, dinners outside um, al fresco in his home. You can take these and split them up. So keep some that you don't have, and then give some away. Maybe it is that couple who's just getting married. Do you have someone who's graduating from college and they're moving to their first job and their first apartment? You can cook where like this. They're using this for literally years 10 and 20 and 25 years to come without having to go through all that little yucky non-stick stuff that you buy at the supermarket 17 pieces in this huge collection it is our biggest value in stock right now it is at the lowest price at ten dollars a piece you can't get a rickety old non-stick skillet at a supermarket for ten dollars and you know if you do it's going to fall apart it's going to start getting torn the the peeling's going to come off and you're like oh my gosh what a waste of money or you get wolfgang puck here's that big stock court we talked about the everything pan this is that oval skillet i've never seen it in a collection and i've been very fortunate to work for chef for many years i think that's so unique and unusual down here below the next one you're seeing 
of course, is the 12 uh, inch simmer with the lid. Then, of course, we have the two and a half quart saucier, which is the beautiful workhorse. Down here is the 10 inch open. That's again one that Chef's using, and that's a workhorse yeah. as well. The three quart saucepan with the lid. And then you get five stainless steel tools. Why does he give you stainless steel? Because it doesn't matter. You can use any utensil inside here. You don't have to baby these. What do you think Chef uses in all of his restaurants around the world? Stainless steel cookware. Wouldn't you love to have it in your home? And this is absolutely the best way to do it at such a phenomenal price. All right, Chef Rose in Tennessee would like to say All hello right. to you. All right, hello, Rose. How hello. are you? Hi, Chef. Thank you for letting me talk to you tonight. My pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you. I want to tell you about um, the cookware. I had bought four sets this past year. Yeah. Of cookware, not yours, it's one else's. Yeah. And I just happened to see yours. You were on one night last month with um, HSN, and I came in, and I saw your cookware, and I thought, well, I'm going to try his, because I gave all the rest of it away. Yeah. It was awful. <laughs> so I tried yours, and it was just beautiful when I got it. I opened it up, and it was just beautiful. So I cooked in it the first time. Yeah. And it was wonderful. And you know how you eat with your eyes? Yeah. Well, you cook with your eyes, too. Exactly. And that food was cooking, it yeah. was looks so good uh -huh. and it tasted so much better than when I cooked it in my other cookware. Uh -huh. So I um, watched you the rest of your times that you were on there uh -huh. and I just bought all kinds of your stuff and I threw away everything in my kitchen. Oh, oh no. Everything uh -huh. was game cut. Okay. And I got, uh, my daughter a whole box of stuff yeah. for her uh, birthday, which was in March. Oh, wow. uh -huh. She was so excited about that. And uh, when she opened up, I got her one of those spiral things. Spiralizer. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I got I got her that and and the um, uh, the uh, salad thing, and oh, I just got her a whole bunch of things. Whole oh, bunch fantastic! Of and my what? eleven year old granddaughter said, "Come on, mom, let's go. We got to go to the store. We got to go to yeah. the store." <laughs> <laughs> but we just love it, and I would like to know if you have a restaurant in Nashville, Tennessee, because if you, you don't, you're missing out. You know, we had a little cafe somewhere on the outside of Nashville in the old time. Right now, no, uh -huh. but hopefully one of these days, because I know Nashville is really amazingly growing now. It's really, oh, and I love music, so it's a great place for me to go. It's over 100 people a day moving here. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Nashville's a great town. Life, and I've just watched it grow from nothing into this, and it's just amazing. I but know. There's one other question I want to ask you. Yeah? And my friend and I want, I want to know if you're on Flex Pay, if you can come and cook for us and we can pay it off on Flex Pay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know how many inhabitants does Nashville have? And then everybody could ask me That's to right. come there. You know what? I make <laughs> you a deal. If we'll you come, you. <laughs> I make you a deal. If you come to a restaurant, I get you a smoked salmon pizza with some champagne, okay? You call me Ooh, your Rose okay. from Tennessee. We love that. Thank you <laughs> All for right. talking to me. Well, Rose, thank you so Have much for night. chatting. Thank tonight. you. Bye. Take care. I love it. You know, she said, hey, I got rid of all the other stuff I have. Yeah. I have a whole Wolfgang kitchen, and now she's gotten her daughter onto the whole Wolfgang yeah. train. Now, look at that. Here we make a curry. Oh, that's nice. So what was in here? Obviously, we have, chicken uh, See, we have ginger, garlic, the chicken legs. We have coconut milk. Salt, pepper, nice. and a little tomato sauce for the color so it gets it more orangey. Can you see that? That's gorgeous. So now if you want, you can actually put a cover on and then you simmer it really slow. Hey, now here the mushroom soup, we almost forgot it because I got so busy with rose. So now you see the mushroom soup, do we have an immersion blender? Yeah, we sure do right here. All right, excellent. So now that's how we make our soup. Go away. Let me just go over here. Okay, it doesn't have to boil anymore. Okay. So you're just making it nice and creamy and delicious. Yeah, yeah. So make it creamy and puree the mushrooms. Do we have the immersion blender, Daryl, in stock still? Oh, is it out of stock? Oh, sorry, guys. Look at that. The best immersion blender anywhere. And what kind of consistency are you trying to get? Okay, well, I will show you in one second. I think we are done. Okay, perfect. Yeah, let's put that over here. Get us a spoon and see that nice and creamy. So oh, if it's great. too thick for any chance, 
you let it go too far, then what you do is just add a little more stock or add a little cream to it. Now look at that, see that? And now let's taste it. Good. Get a spoon. Okay, can I get another spoon? You will take it home. <laughs> okay. You can spoon, take please. it home. Okay. <laughs> I'm so jealous. Mm. Yeah, he's just mm. like yeah. <laughs> it. tastes like mushrooms. You oh, know, it tastes gosh. like look at that. It looks fantastic. So you put a little bit of chopped parsley or something on top. Oh, thank you. Oh, now we got two spoons. Oh, we're moving up in the world. I've got uh, two spoons okay. now. Woohoo! We're ready. Yeah, that's a spare, right? <laughs> Woo, okay, Be here careful, we go. hot. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> See? Oh my gosh. Yep, no wonder it's on the on the on the menu. Yeah. That is really delicious. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. Really Taste good. Marianne. Come over here. Mm, here. Since yeah. Marianne said I have to make it. For I her. love soup. That's the best. Wow. Okay, so you have to rewind if you want to find out the recipe. <laughs> I hope you've been recording this. Hey, by the way, there's so much going on tonight, too, with Chef Wolfgang Puck. This is the largest set that we have in stock right now. And, yeah. Chef, it's amazing. What's surprising to me, it's under about $10 per piece. I know. And it is incredible. crazy. At the price of steel. stainless, of this price of metal, it yeah. is totally well, crazy. Chef, you have the tempered glass lids. Every detail is so beautifully thought out. Even the handles are ergonomic. Yeah. This is designed to be cookware that you will use for almost a lifetime. So if you've got a bunch of lousy cookware under your cabinet right now, and you're like, oh, I'm just so disappointed in the results. Yeah, just like what, what, did, what did Rose said, and I tell you, she's not one of my relative. We don't have enough the same <laughs> accent. No, you don't. Yeah. So. <laughs> mm. Mary, I'm not giving this bowl up. You gotta leave this one here. Oh, yeah. not good. I mean, the whole point and is, you know how simple, see, but you need good cookware. Without good cookware, it would be impossible really to cook it properly. That's so That's right. That's right. And also, if you have cookware that's warped, you yeah. wonder, well, why is there hot and cold spots? It's because And then you burn it, and mm -hmm. then, you know, who wants a burnt soup? You know, when milk or cream or anything chef. burnt, I'm sure you know about it. It's terrible. And, Chef, I do want you to show a comparison, because I think a lot of us experience this yeah. stuff. Talk about this. Exactly. You know this stuff you know, in the store. Because people always say, well, I have stainless steel cookware. There's stainless cookware like this out there, which is so thin. And stainless it by itself is a very bad heat conductor. So we have stainless, which is the coating. Let me put that steaks in here first. Sure. So, all right, you can see that. Now we, you will see it doesn't stick. So now a pan like that, and it doesn't have riveted handles. I actually bent the handle a little bit. It came <laughs> off really right away. So that might be okay if you have gas to boil water for tea, but that's it. Right, but look you at the You try difference. to make a soup or cook a steak in there, it won't happen. Now look how ours are built. Triply, so you have stainless, a big sheet of aluminum and stainless. Why aluminum in the middle? Because aluminum is the best heat conductor. So without aluminum, you would only have stainless, it will get hot spots, so that's important. And then you say, Wolfgang, why you have stainless? You know, aluminum, it's very difficult to clean. Aluminum also, it's not as durable as stainless. So they are more durable, easier to clean, and they don't transfer through uh, flavor or color. So every restaurant in America has mainly stainless. We used to have copper, but it's too expensive now. Also too hard to clean and riveted handles. Yeah. You can see the handles are riveted. So that's a sign of professional cookware. Also, while you're cooking that steak, talk about the, I know a consumer magazine, a very famous one, a yeah. couple of years ago, did a review. And they, they reviewed your cookware against some of the most expensive cookware exactly. in the world. Actually, and what did they say about it? Actually, it was this pan. We didn't know. They bought it from HSN here. You guys had no idea. We had no idea. We didn't send it to them. They paid for it. And then... We got this thing back where they said, okay, this one is the easiest to clean. It performs perfectly as well, if not better than a pan, which was $79. Yep. And at the end of the day, they said, you know, the value, the price, the performance, and the clean to clean is number one. That's so right. they voted our as the number one cookware without me knowing it. And I don't even know who decided to do that thing. Right. I mean, they, they, that was an independent test. 
and I think that speaks volumes when you're buying a silhouette for $10 a piece. And I'll tell you, you'll feel it and you know, when you get these at home and you start working with it, and the fact you don't have to baby, you don't have to worry about using a soft utensil or plastic or a silicone in it, when you can really bring out those stainless steel, that fork you grab out of the drawer and you're just making an omelet out of it. A little squeeze of lemon in the mushroom Oh, you really? You're gonna add the lemon? Good. I just think when you get it at home, you'll really feel the quality. Now, is it heavy as cast iron? No, but it's durable and strong, and yet it's comfortable and it's got a great, perfect weight to it. Yeah. Also, the cleanup is easy. Give them the tip on cleaning it up, Chef. Absolutely. Well, I will show you how easy the cleanup is, and I showed you with one already. So we are making a steak here. Look at that. You see how brown the steak is? And look in the pan. I mean, you cannot sear it any better than that. Right, right. So I'm gonna make a sauce in here, and you will see in no time, I'm gonna clean it out, and it's really easy. Also, it is an amazing bakeware. You know, if you bake, you need molds and this and that. This is doing a, an amazing job. Why? Because it is really doesn't stick, so it's non-stick. It's easy to clean and also very even heating. Do we have okay. something in there, Marianne? Yes, yeah, what, we, what surprise are you bringing out? Dun, dun, dun. Is this the pineapple upside down? Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, here we go. And I think that's the Ooh. key, too. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I know, made what? a spicy curry. I think <laughs> if you're from Bombay, you will love it. If you're from Minneapolis, I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> not as much, maybe. Wow. You need well, rice. I'm that, baby, huh? Oh, you're going to taste the sauce. It is on fire. You eat that, Susan. Whew. You better call your husband to get ready. You know what? Uh, this will be crazy. <laughs> or my Italian you, boyfriend. Who am I supposed okay, to call first? Whoever. Whoever is closer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you want to flip that out too? Okay, yeah, all right. Here. Now here, look at that cookware, and then I have to show you the clean. Oh, fakeware. Look at that. Oh, pineapple upside down can come out, you little guy. <laughs> okay. But it all came out. <laughs> it all came out, and you can see it's steaming hot. And then the cleanup. Marianne, show them the cleanup while I'm doing that. Yeah. Please don't touch it, just don't. Touch it with your hand because this pan is very hot. Don't tease me. Okay, so, so here's the trick. You're cleaning yeah. it when it's hot and you just literally wipe it out and that's good to go. Obviously, it's dishwasher safe, but most people don't have to put it in the dishwasher because if you clean it like this, it's pretty much really, and it's no soaking. You're not soaking your pans overnight in a sink when you use that technique. So just a yeah. little heads up on how to work with the stainless steel. You know, Chef Two, this is a commitment that you make. Now let's talk flex pay here. We have five flex pays, right, guys? Five flex pay. So yep. for $33.99, $33 that's less than a dinner out. We all know. know that on today. You're getting 17 pieces. It's a massive, beautiful set. Right. I put it down here so that we don't run because we're gonna have to go in a second. Okay. Let me give me a plate here. All right, and now we're gonna make some sauce. Marianne loves this preparation. We do it for so many years already, and you know, it's still delicious. So now, take out the fat, and look at that here. So we have here raisins, which we soaked in red wine. Nice. So now, we put that back on here, and then maybe you can add a touch of cream. You don't have to if you don't have it. A little touch of barbecue sauce or veal stock. And then you just have to reduce it a little bit until it coats your spoon. See that, how beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, I think the chickens are done. Now, you wanna taste how spicy it is? No, you, sir. No, you don't like when spicy? You said, when you said it was that spicy, I ain't touching it. Your husband. Should I go for it? You, oh, yeah, All right, sure, all right, he's it. gonna call me a chicken if I don't. Okay, okay wait, wait. yeah, okay. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get a P. Will the P help, like, yeah, yeah. take it down a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for the water. Marion throwing water at me. She's like, here's some cold water. No, wine, wine. You get wine. <laughs> yeah, I'll grab some. <laughs> I kind of don't want to do this, but here we go. No, just do it. Come on. Trust me, stop it. <laughs> it's okay, huh? Oh, holy <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay. It's flavorful. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what I'm supposed to say? Woo! 
Yeah, you brought wow. that home, buddy. There you, you go. Didn't, you didn't say that with your husband. Wow. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> so now, look at our pepper, pepper steak here. We put the sauce on it with raisins. Look how beautiful. Mm. And then you put that right here. And look at it. Even if I let it burn a little bit, you can see, look in the pan in here. I'm going to show you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Everybody's waiting. Take, all... it, take it home and, go and, uh, and take it milk. to your house. I gotta get some milk or something. Wow. Oh, come on. Mm. I like it super spicy. I'm a girl from Ohio. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, look at that. I think it's medium salsa is tough. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Mm. See okay. how hot it is? And why, why check into the emergency room for a third degree lip burn? Oh. Uh, we're, no, I'm kidding. It's actually, it was very tasteful. It's very tasty. It's very tasty. It was it's really, very very it is good. spicy, though. It is spicy. It's, very, very tasty, though. You I know, if you go the to Southern India, to Bombay or whatever, it's spicy. Mm -hmm. Now, look at that pan here. All right, Chef, we're wrapping this one up. Here's what's going to happen. All right, here's going to happen. Please stay on the line for it. We're down to the last couple of thousand of the 17-piece set. And by the way, I want to mention Extra Flex. So while Chef is here, everything that you can get from his collection, if you use your HSN card, you're going to uh, get an Extra Flex pay, which means which you get, get an extra rice. month to pay it off, right? If you'd like to check out the details, huh? you can go to hsn.com, and you can apply for the card, or you can call the 800 number and start using it right away. And obviously, once you have the card, you get a lot of really cool benefits. Many of those we'll never talk about on the air. Stay with us. We're going to take our final and last look at the ultimate replacement for your big old oven. Stay with us. HSN is your leading tech destination for new and innovative products. We deliver big brands and top tech solutions with special offers on HP, Samsung, Bose, and LG. Plus, enjoy free shipping on all electronics all month long. It's the perfect time to upgrade your tech. Tune in for demos and tech tips from our trusted experts and search innovation at hsn.com for more. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. DG2 is comfort, stretch, style. That bootcut classic was the first jean I designed. The super stretch is a technological revolution. I love the Ponte jean. It makes you look so thin. That comfort waist is gonna overtake the world of denim. Once you have that perfect fitting jean, wait and see how life-changing it is. Signature Club A is the world's largest beauty classroom. We teach women about all the new innovations, like cosmeceutical capsule. We do it with vitamin C. We do it with argon oil from Morocco. We do it with the lifting, tightening, firming platinum line. Every woman wants to look like herself, but better. That's Signature Club A. People come here to get into music. You can go to Broadway any night. Every club is full of incredible performers and songwriters that you've never heard of. Well, that was Grammy Award winner, of course, Cheryl Crow. She'll be joining us beginning April 13th as part of a month-long event. It's Music City Nashville. Cheryl will be uh, premiering her new fashion collection and taking over the list that evening for a special live performance. It's going to be kind of exciting. Yeah. So a concert, a fashion show all rolled into one. That's we don't want to miss it, and you can start shopping right now on hsn.com. You just type in the keyword Music City Nashville to see the entire collection. All right, what are we doing now? Now. Well, imagine if you never had to turn on your darn oven again, or pretty much didn't really have to use your stovetop anymore. Yeah. It's all of that and more in this. It's a brand new launch of a fabulous Baker Plus, and of course, it's from Wolfgang Puck, and here is your final and last chance yeah. at our best value of the day. So here we go.
really seriously imagine an appliance that is no bigger than a platter that will completely replace your oven. And by the way, a lot of things you do on top of the stove as well. And that is in the brand new Wolfgang Puck 1400 watt electric counter baker. When retail area and space on your countertop is a premium, you want one thing that can do it all. It does replace your oven. It does replace a lot of skillets and a lot of stovetops out there because it can do so much. We're talking breakfast, lunch, dinner, desserts. We're going to go everything from making hamburgers and hot dogs and broths yeah. to doing beautiful fishes and then some. We're down to the final and last looks. This is really key Oops. because the price at midnight is going to go up $20. You will not have free shipping and you will not not have four flex pays. Right now, we're down to the final three colors, the beautiful copper. Yeah. We have the number one best selling, which is the red, and of course, we have the silver. So, Chef, tell us how this works and why you develop it. All right, first of all, let me show the important part of this is also the inserts. We have two of them. They all come with it, so you don't have to pay extra for that. You also don't have to pay for shipping. I'll pay for everything. So you have one deep dish pan, and this is the perforated pan, which is amazing to make pizzas, to cook anything with the puff pastry, a sugar dough, if you wanna make tarts, you know, summer is coming, strawberry tarts and so on. You bake them on here, they're gonna be baked perfectly on the bottom and on top. So mm -hmm. that's really an important part. So these are not flimsy things, they are thick and heavy metal, so they stay straight like that. So. Yeah. You have to use them for a lot of different things. Now, let's see where we are. Well, Look at that. When you decided to recreate this, you really yeah. came up with a brand new concept, didn't you? Totally. It is a concept where it heats from the bottom to the top. Look at that. Here we made pork chops. Can you see them? Beautiful. You can see them sizzling right in here. Now, if you want to, you actually could say, okay, you know what? I don't even want to put it on a platter. You bring that just like that to the, to the, to the table and... Look at that, steaming hot. It's gorgeous. I mean, all in one pot. I love this one pot meal a lot. Here, another great thing is, you know paella. You heard about paella. It's a Spanish paella. rice dish. Now, every region, every chef makes it, makes it a little different. Now, look, here it is. Look at that. Oh, chef, that's now, awesome. Now, you go to Valencia or somewhere, they put rabbit in it. But in America, <laughs> rabbit is not as popular, yet it's delicious. And so, look at that. Nothing sticks. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So if I want to take that out now and put it on a pan, see, it has a little indentation here, so if you want to take it out when it's hot, it's easy. Now, look at that. How, I don't know how many people would that's feed a lot. it. Yeah. Love it. And you know, Chef, it's deceivingly deep. I mean, it's deceivingly, yeah. um, has a big capacity. Yeah, now At first glance, that. I thought, well, it's only a little bit bigger than a platter, yeah. but it really cooks up a lot of food. Now, this cooks for a whole family here. Yep. Like, can yep. you see that? Easily, huh? The neat thing about this, too, is you can cook one, two, four, or six. Um, you can do it all in this one unit. All in one yep. thing, yep. Absolutely. All right, what are we cooking up next? All right. Let me clean it up here. All right, now... What we have in here, I forgot. Pizza. Oh, our famous pizza. By now, you saw it already a few times. The margarita pizza, look how beautiful brown it is everywhere. And what I like the most, and why do we have this pan to cook it so you can cook the bottom perfectly? Look at that here. Can you see that? So the bottom is really beautiful brown, and you have a pizza as good as at Spago for at Spago, the cheapest one is probably 20 bucks. Right. So one flex pay, you can get your pizza. And also, this is going to do a lot of other baked goods as well. Yeah. So the, and they're both, they're all non-stick. And it's funny because you spent many, uh, uh, more than a year, actually, making yeah. sure this was absolutely one of the most brilliant appliances to have in your kitchen. I know. And this is the chance to get it because, unfortunately, yeah. at midnight, the, the price jumps the, up. And this is the last is time, it. the last time you get free shipping. Look at that. Shrimp's comfy. I put a little bit of olive oil because the Italians cook with olive oil. You can hear it sizzling here. Throw them in here. And you know what is so good? Because it has a thermostat and a timer. So you don't have to worry about anything. We're gonna put some salt and pepper on here. And explain the heat range, Chef. Yeah, so also, 
if you wanna bake something, you don't gonna cook it at 450, so you cook it lower. So you can put it from 250 to 450, from zero minutes to 30 minutes. So that's really a perfect way to go. And that's how serious this is. I mean, you can yeah. really get a good sear. You can hear the sizzle of the shrimp when yeah. you hit that And look, oil. if you're a pizza chef or no, you can actually stretch the dough just like I do here. See that? Is that the with, key? With my dough. Well, you can roll it out too. Right. If that, whatever you Do you ever flip it high? Do you, you can flip it method? high. I'm going to flip it on you. <laughs> <laughs> You're already scared of my curry, so. Yeah. All right, now look at that. See that? I like it thin crust and crispy. That's the way I like my pizza. My pizza. I know there are some people who like deep dish pizza. Deep dish pizza. I can't even say it. It's not my thing. So. But you could do deep dish. Yeah. Too, when right? I started Spago, I said I want pizzas with no tomato sauce. So what did we put on? Pesto. Pesto is really tasty. Where's the cheese? Here's the cheese. Anna. No tomato sauce. No tomato sauce. It doesn't need tomato sauce, you know? You can put in good ingredients will always be good. So if you want to be healthy, you said, okay, I want to have a vegetarian pizza. So all you have to do is put some vegetables on top and always think a little bit about color. So you put veggies, a little tomato, a few more slices here. All right. And now you just close it down. Put it on 450, and then we're just gonna put it on 10 minutes, and it's done. Chef, I did have a good quick update. If you would like the copper specifically, we're down to the last 1800, and those yeah. could very well sell out actually in this airing. I just wanna show you some stuff here too. For example, you can go from a chocolate chip cookie to look at this, a beautiful grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. We did bruschetta last exactly. hour. Exactly, where's um, my little bread over there? I cut some also, slices of bread, put oh, them Oh yeah, over. from earlier. And then yeah. look at this, guys, too. These are the ones that I specifically marked out of Marion's book, and by the way, it's available. Yeah. But how about glazed ham and pineapple, jalapeno bacon poppers. I just marked so many. Barbecue tofu and broccoli, chocolate bread pudding, chicken yeah. alfredo with peas. I, that again, I was like, chicken alfredo, are you kidding me? You can do it inside here. And chef, really when we broke this down, yeah. you can almost do everything in here. Exactly, except you don't have to eat your, you don't have to heat up your stove. Right. Like if you want a barbecue, I put barbecue, store-bought barbecue mm. sauce on here, That's and beautiful. also store-bought seasoning so now I have my potatoes in here too we close it a little longer and that's it that's it let it go right you have barbecue stuff here oh my gosh a and here look the shrimps are almost done I just put them in Philly cheesesteak do a Philly cheesesteak if you're yeah. a Philly person I love this too curry chicken and rice hey you could do your curry chicken in here exactly <laughs> exactly brats with peppers and onion buffalo chicken mac and cheese it is absolutely brilliant how often you can reach for this. And if you're saying, hey, you know what? I hate to turn my oven on in the summertime. It's so hot. If you don't want to turn your oven on anymore, you know what I think this does? I think it makes ovens obsolete. It's almost like going back and driving a horse and buggy or driving a modern day car. Because you don't need the friend? oven. You don't need the oven anymore. All you need is this unit. And you'll find that you're not opening up the oven to do a little bit of cookies or just doing a quick little meal. You can cook faster with this because it's the heating is tight. Top, bottom up, top down. There's yeah. two heating units that's creating this atmosphere that allows you to cook quicker than ever before. So if you're the guilty mom who goes to the drive-thru because you gotta feed your kids because everybody's so busy nowadays, you won't be anymore. Chef is an absolute advocate of eating healthier, now eating look better, at that. and you I'm, can with this unit. I'm making some big bruschettas here because we can't find the bread I sliced before <laughs> over there. I think they probably ate it, somebody ate did. it. So I put salami on it. So if that would be half the size, it would be a bruschetta, but because it's a big thing, so we call it a little open face sandwich. And what do you like on your bruschetta? I am gonna put tomatoes and sausage and a little bit of cheese. And then if you want, in the center, in the center, we put mm. a basil leaf. Nice. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, that's good. And then we're gonna put a little salt because the tomato <laughs> might need a little salt. And then a little provolone cheese. All right, so now you make your sandwich here. Look at that, one. And you know, we all know a warm sandwich is amazing because any food which is hot, you get so much more flavor. Mm -hmm. True. All right, now you close it. 
We put it on high heat and turn it on 10 minutes and that's it. That's it. That's it all you have to do. And, and wait till you see it Look at that, my I mean. pizza is already, the dough started to rise already. That's awesome. My shrimps here are done and that's my steaks are done. My shrimps are done. Look at this. Look shrimps. at that. Oh, those look so good. Yeah. And that, you know what? You could have actually put more shrimp inside. Yeah, no, for sure. But yeah. I'm going to make a whole dish. So I'm going to add some tomatoes in here. And then, if you want, you can add some asparagus or some snow peas in here. Look at that. All in one thing. And then I'm going to add. A little pesto. Now you could make them also with tomato sauce if you like to, you know, whatever. Oh, it's, it's a simple thing, it's whatever you like. Yep. That's what you put on. If you don't like basil or you don't like garlic, well, don't use it. I don't tell you, you can cook without it. Yep. So we're just gonna steam up the veggies a little bit with our pesto and with our shrimp. And you're gonna see how delicious that tastes. And chef, doesn't this create a much more vibrant food experience? Totally, because there's no water involved. Everything is pure. Everything has great taste and great flavor. Yeah. So this is the way to go. Now and look it's at here. An explosion of flavor. For you meat like eaters this. out there, can you come in here? Look at that. <laughs> that looks so good. Meat and potatoes. <laughs> I know. Yeah, some These lady called me. These potatoes are really That's good. what they eat in Indianapolis, you mm. know, a lot, and everywhere else too. So. Yeah. Growing you up in Ohio, it. what do we eat? Meat and potatoes. Yeah. It was good. And look how thick these steaks are. These thick. aren't just little thin No, no, I steaks. love when they're thick and then we slice it. And then at home, that's what we do. Then we saute the potatoes. And instead of having french fries, I have these roasted potatoes, this mm. pomme saute à cru, which is what we call it in France. So it's sauteed potato, which I add in here raw, and then I just cook it. I started with the potatoes. A little later, I added the steak. And look at that. The crispier, the better they are. Mm -hmm. yeah, good. Yeah. And again, doesn't take hardly any time. No. You know, I think, Chef, in, we were kind of talking about... And everything in one pan. So now, if you're done, you take out the pan. Huh? That's all the mm. salmon we have left. Mm -mm -mm. What, Chef? Even the potatoes what about are there? vivid with flavor. I know. They, they taste so delicious. Yeah, exactly. Or oh, the trout fillets. Where are the trout fillets? Okay. The trout, trout? fillet. Yep. Okay, let's do some trout. You know, a lot of people in the mountain range in um, northern in the northern state they eat a lot of trout. Catfish, you can do catfish. Uh, catfish, same. Okay. Any fish fillet is fine. Early we did chicken inside here. Uh -huh. you guys, think about this too. Um, last hour we did a whole frittata. Literally at the last minute, Chef just yeah. looked back and made a frittata, and it was enough to feed six people easily. If you've got company coming Look over. At no, two or okay. three is fine. You, you can know, give Chef, me one more. Okay, it's really funny because we were trying to Look challenge at. ourselves to figure out what in the world you couldn't cook in here. I know. You know so. And it's really so incredibly versatile. Yeah. No, we're going to show it. you can bake. We're going to show you how you can do brownies inside yeah. here. Look you can do a basically a no yeah. lasagna. Your recipe is lasagna, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can do a lasagna. Oh, you know what else would be great, too? If you're having a party and you need to do, and I hate to say this, Chef, don't kill me, oh. but if you go to the frozen section and you get those little... What are they called, Marion? You know, for parties, like, like appetizers. Poppers. Like poppers yeah. and appetizers. Yeah. I just saw, oh my gosh, you could put a ton of those inside mm -hmm. here and cook uh, those up uh, very quickly. Exactly. You know what? You're so right. You know, sometimes convenience, you don't gonna yeah. make everything from scratch, so right, it's perfect. Right. Now look at that. So here we have, when you ask me what is this green thing, we use breadcrumbs, parsley, and some other herbs, a little thyme, put it in the blender or in the food processor and chop them so they get green mm. and still dry. So now, all I have to do is close that, put it on, and that's it. And, and then chef, it, what we won't see you do, get in there, they're flipping it. Yeah. You don't have to flip it. You no. literally just leave it, you walk away. Because it cooks from both sides. Oh, right. oh my sandwich, right. I forgot. Done. Look at oh, that. Oh, those look great, though, yeah. chef. Oh, my god. Look at that. They so you so put delicious. that on a plate. Now this could be tiny little sandwiches or bigger ones. Okay, thank you. Now uh, look at this beautiful mm. sandwiches here. Let me go over here. And you know, I think a lot of people, chefs, say, oh no, I'm too busy. I gotta take the kids through the drive-thru. I gotta order no, pizza. It, it is so fast, look at that. Look how fast this is. You did that, what, in maybe five minutes? Yeah. Five, not even 10 minutes. Not, not even 10 minutes, yeah. yeah. 
And also, too, I don't know if you had to clean your oven lately, but that's one thing I had to do last week. And I swore I was never going to put anything, nor my husband will put anything in our oven again. Yeah. It was the most miserable experience. I'm down there on my hands and knees yeah. trying to get inside that oven, trying to scrub it out. And I was like, yeah. who wants to use their ovens anymore? This with the nonstick interior eliminates your oven. Like, imagine that. On a hot summer day, you want a really delicious meal and yeah. you want it in minutes. It's going to do that. You want to wake up for breakfast and you say, hey, I'm going to do eggs for the gang because I've got a people, a lot of people in the house, it's going to do that. If you want to make a great dessert, like a brownie, or you want to make a great mac and cheese, you can or do that. look at that shrimp scampi with did a their stir own fry. vegetables. So oh my gosh, you could do a stir fry in here? Yeah. Oh my I'm going to make veggies. Look at it. That's gorgeous. Just Eat gorgeous. It. And you're holding the flavor. You're I keeping. know. And you know what? I didn't do much to this. You know, I put a little pesto in here, the shrimps in here, salt and pepper, olive oil. That's it. I'm going to grab it. No, you know what? You could go to any restaurant and spend at least twenty dollars for a portion of that. That that for four portions like this or three portions, it would be a lot of money. So, chef, let me ask you this: If I'm trying to live a healthier lifestyle, yeah. how is this convenient for me? Well, it is so convenient because you can cook if you want with very little oil or no oil at all. So, which is an important part. Mm -hmm. And I think you can cook a lot of vegetables really well in there. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you some. I'm gonna heat that up a little bit and then cook some vegetables. You won't miss anything. If you want, you can have vegetables with eggs or vegetables with whatever you like or just pure vegetables. Now, well, Chef, do you think a lot of people, because they're time starved, yeah. don't eat healthy? Well, I think a lot of people don't eat healthy because they really say, well, I like to cook, but I don't like to clean. Mm. You know, it's cleaning is like cleaning up is really a big pain for a lot of people. So now you can do one dish, put this thing in your dishwasher, and that's it. That's right. And it's so simple and so easy. What did I put in here? Something and just on? to show you, too, no. the two pans that come with it are both completely nonstick, and they remove. they're removable, obviously. Yeah. So you're going to wipe out the unit itself. These two guys you can throw in the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. They're totally nonstick. And Chef spent more than a year developing these, now look, along with this, to make sure you get look, great look results. Look at that. I put garlic. So garlic. Ginger. A few drips of oil. So you saute that a little bit. If you like them spicy and fragrant, put in a few slices of jalapeno if you like that. I know you like it spicy. Oh, I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Bring and that curry back out there, buddy. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, we wrapped it up for you. And then you put in vegetables, <laughs> onions, beans. Here we have some peas. Then we have some asparagus. All right, so you don't even need to prepare much because you can, whatever you find at the market, fresh. Or whatever you have leftover, Whatever right? you have leftover, whatever. And then just go like in. Don't forget to put a little salt. Now, if you're salt-free diet, that's obviously no salt, okay? And then you cover it for a few minutes. And we actually Just did be see sure that it's on. Sometimes I forget to put the time on because I can see the little knob without my glasses, but <laughs> it is really simple. Here, Chef, we did uh, fajitas doing that recipe yeah. last hour. Beautiful fajitas. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. So here we have that on here. That's the pizza going Yeah, on. the okay. pizza is going here. Then here what we have. The, put something in? You want chicken? No, you know what? I cooked do. the last fish here, huh? Okay, very good. We'll Use make a salmon. little barbecue salmon here with some veggies in here too. Um, you know what's funny, Chef, too, when you think about it, um, you could have a ton of different appliances. In fact, there's, I know out in the market, you can buy a unit that's a baker, and all it does is make pizza. Yeah. And it doesn't do it that great, but it makes pizza. Or how about one it unit? You have to preheat it for half an hour before you can bake it. Isn't that funny? Yeah. So you, the kids are starving. You're saying, oh, hold on while I preheat for a half an hour, and then i got to yeah. cook the pizza. With this, it and is now, literally Now you can minutes. make a one-dish meal. Look at that. I put a few uh, veggies in here. And you could put a lot more um, a salmon in there, too. Oh, for you? sure, for yeah. sure. Well, uh, but that's all I have left, so. <laughs> uh, I can't, I can't put much more. We've cooked our way through all the salmon in all the whole place. All that thing is gone. <laughs> a little salt. And if you like barbecue sauce, like I do, and I don't want to light up my grill outside, mm -hmm. so what I do is I put a teaspoon of barbecue sauce on my fish, and then just spread it out a little bit, just like that. Okay, and then I cook it like that. 
I mean, think about pork with roast vegetables, yeah. uh, sausage, pasta, and broccoli, shrimp and rice, uh, vegan veggie pizza, tuna noodle casserole. You can do, look and how you gorgeous know, this is. This tuna is the noodle. last five minutes yeah, we are doing it. that. So this that's it. it. The last five minutes where you can get free shipping, full flex that's payment. Nice. Mm -hmm. Beef I'm stroganoff, a, tuna melt. Yeah. Oh, I missed that if one. If you want to get excited about cooking like I am, and you think, why does Wolfgang have such a good time? Because with this machine, I can do so many great things. So this is really a great little machine. It's not bigger than a, a, deli, pa, a deli, yeah, platter. deli platter. You can take it with you on a trip. You can take it to your summer home, on your boat, whatever you are, to your uh, uh, hut or whatever you call it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, on the lakeside or wherever it is. So your cabin, whatever. Your cabin, it is, it's yeah. It's completely portable. All you need is a plug. You have a whopping 1,400 watts of power. And what yeah. really this replaces is your oven. I mean, imagine your oven just becomes another storage cabinet for your kitchen. Yeah. You don't have to heat it up. And you know what, Wolfgang? With something like this, ovens almost become obsolete because exactly. they don't cook the way this can cook. This, this is cooks so much everything smarter. perfect. Now, what do you have here, Marianne? That's the sausages. All right. Oh. Look at that. This is it now. That's great. That's awesome. All right. But it's the, you could do a cheeseburger. You could do the bacon in here. You can do an eggs uh, um, breakfast in here if yeah. you want to. You can do hot dogs in here. If you're like, hey, I just got to feed the crowd a bunch of All hot right, dogs. Look at that. I'm making a... Cr crumbling here. Look that's at nice. that. That's beautiful. All the leftover berries we have, we cook them, put a little streusel on top, and that's it. So. All right, so here's what's happening now. Um, we have sold over 16,000 today. And as Chef just mentioned, at midnight, everything changes. The price yeah. goes up, you do not have the flex pay option, and you will not get free shipping on it. I do recommend Marion's book if you really want to take it to that next level. You will have so much fun with this, and you'll think, oh my gosh, I haven't used my oven in so long. Like, that's what's gonna happen. Like, I don't even need my oven anymore. And quite I frankly, know. a lot of things you do on stovetop. Okay, come over here, here, come over well. here, Susan. Right, sure, people have to see you that. See Look food. at my trout fillets here. Look oh, how beautiful chef. they are. Totally oh, done. Those are gorgeous. See that? Here you have beautiful fish, wow. not expensive. Each fillet costs a dollar fifty. Oh my gosh, that's So great. three dollar for a whole one, so it's really inexpensive. Beautiful. Then here. We have our salmon is ready. You can see the vegetables. Beautiful. And then here, what we have here, my pizza in here. Look at that. Mm. Bubbling hot. And here, we have our stir fried vegetables. So you can do so many different things. See that? There's no water. They taste delicious. Why? Because it concentrates the juices. It concentrates the flavor, the sugars, which are in the vegetables. So it's like a perfect way to eat. Yeah, and then review everything that we've done so okay, far. Okay, now look at that. Steer fried vegetables, bruschettas or open face cheese and a salami sandwich with basil. We made the paella. We have our pizza here again, pork chop with vegetables. Then here we have our salmon. I think it's done too. Look at that, the other side, both sides. So a little dinner for two, you throw everything in here and in five, six minutes you have it. Oh, did I put my thing yes. in here? Okay, <laughs> and then here, I had my trout in here. You did the steak with the potatoes. I did the steak you with the potato. Seafood. And look how crispy the potatoes are. Seafood and veggies. Are. Over the here, all the desserts. Scampi. <gasps> the mac and cheese, which is amazing. That's over here. We've yeah. got the baked goods. You can do brownies inside and here. And look at that. And that's for the last minute. You have another hour to call. That's it. Thank you so much for yeah. calling. We love you. I love yes. you, Galila, Oliver Alexander, Pine and Cameron. Shop I love you, you all for calling. Thanks for hanging out. Adam See you Pitt. tomorrow. <laughs> Customer Appreciation Month is fast approaching. We want to say thank you for being our customer and honor you by donating to one of your favorite charities. Now, through April 9th, you can nominate a charity of your choice to win $1,000 from HSN Cares. Every day in May, there will be a new winner. Now's the chance to give back. Go to hsn.com and search HSN Cares to nominate your charity now. San Francisco is the home to a little bit of everything, including Benefit Cosmetics. As former models, Jean and Jane Ford knew the challenges women faced with makeup. Their solution? To create their own line focusing on solving women's beauty dilemmas. Today, Maggie and Annie carry on the family tradition. And those same products are still some of the most famous instant beauty solutions around the world. Like our mom and aunt always say, laughter is the best cosmetic. Simply class.
basic. Simply essential. Simply perfect for every style. Sometimes the greatest pleasures are the simplest ones of all. Watch Concierge Collection tonight only on HSN. so good. Everything that Wolfgang cooks just tastes so delicious. Well, a very good evening. I hope your mouth was watering as well. How about sitting back, maybe having a midnight feast with us here at HSN. We have some great things 